An open box is to be made from a piece of cardboard measuring 80 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Calculate the maximum volume of the box. Now this is a cardboard and say this is 80 centimeters. The length is 80 centimeters and the width is 60 centimeters. Okay. Now from this we are making this box. Okay. The question is what's the maximum volume that the box can have? Now we need to first think how are we going to use this box so that we don't do uh, or we do minimum wastage. Now to make a box from a cardboard, we are going to cut and fold uh, like this. So let's say I draw a dotted line like this. I'll explain what I mean. So this is a dotted line. And so this is... I hope you can understand what I mean by these dotted lines. So if I want to make a box from this cardboard, I'll first draw a dotted line. Okay. And the dotted line is drawn in such a way that this length is x. So if this is x, this is also x. Okay. So say so let's say if this is x, this is also x. So basically we're going to make a square at each corner of the cardboard. So this is a square, each of this is a square. So if you cut, if if you draw, if you cut these two corners, and if you cut that out, if you cut this out, all these four corners, imagine that you're cutting these four corners, and you're folding, so you you fold on these at these points, you're folding at these points, and you're cutting at these, uh, cutting these X's. So if you cut these X's, you will get, these are cut out. This is where you cut. Okay? And this is where you fold. And when you fold, these two X's will join together and you can make a box. I hope you can understand. So basically, the length of this box, the length, okay, this looks to be a square box, but let's say this is the length okay so this would be i hope you understand this is 80 minus what you got you're taking away x from here you're taking x from here so this length from year to year is 80 minus 2x and the length from year to year i'm talking about this length or this width this width is 60 minus 2x okay so we can say the this is the box that is made from this cardboard. So this length, so if say this is the length, so this is 80 minus 2x, and this is 60 minus 2x. 60 minus 2x, and this is your height. So can you see this height would be how much? This would be x. Okay, so this is the length, this is length, this is width, and this is height. Okay. So we can say volume of this box is length times width, width times height. So I'll say that is 80 minus 2x times 60 minus 2x times x. So this is your volume. Okay, this will give you, or this is the equation of the volume in terms of x. So we have written the function of volume in terms of x. So this is the volume in terms of the x which is the height. Okay, so before going on to calculus, let me explain one more thing. One thing we have to note here, your x has to be less than what? x has to be less than, okay, so yeah, I hope you understand logically. Can you understand that your 60 minus 2x has to be greater than 0, okay? And 80 minus 2x has also to be greater than 0. Okay, so this implies 60 is greater than 2x. So dividing both sides by 230 is greater than x. And here you can say 80 is greater than 2x. So x is greater than 40. So if you say x is greater than 30, and x is also greater than 40, if you take the lowest value, we can say x has to be greater than 30. 
think logically, it's very simple. If x becomes 30, if x is 30, suppose if x is 30, I hope you understand this will become 60. And if this becomes 60, 60 minus 60 is 0. So you can't have a width. And that's why x has to be greater than 30. X has to be less than 30, not greater than 30, sorry. Oops. X is because 30 is greater than X implies, this implies X has to be less than 30. Okay, X has to be less than 30. This is again a mistake, sorry. This is, this can, this implies that X has to be less than 40. So, okay. Now let us first understand this in a, in a graphical way and then I will explain the calculus behind this. Okay, uh, first let me go to table. I'll just show you. So I'm going to, the equation is uh, bracket uh, 80 minus 2x times 60 minus 2x. 60 minus to x times x. So your y is your volume and your x is your height. And then I will go from 0 to 30. Okay, it's already set. This is go to set and I'll go from 0 to 30 just to show you. So when x is 0, your height is 0, your volume is 0. When x is 1, your height is 1, your volume is 4, 5, 2, 4. And as you go, when you can you see that your volume is increasing an interesting thing happens see at 11 when your height is 11 centimeters your height is 24,244 when it is 12 it is 24,192 so till 11 it is increasing and from 12 it is decreasing so somewhere between 11 and 12 you should get the maximum volume so this is what I mean by in a table form so let's do this in a graphical way so if you type in this, I'll change the scale from 0 to, I'll go from 0 to 30, and your volume is, say, from 0 to 25,000. First, let us do it graphically. Oops, so I have to scroll this. Okay, and now draw it. So this is your, this is, a, in fact, a cubic equation, okay? So here, your maximum is here, so you go GSOL and maximum. So 11.31 centimeters is the maximum uh, at, when your height is 11.3 centimeters, you get the maximum volume of 24,258. But now let us do use maths or calculus to figure this out. So I'll say let y is equal to v. Okay, let y is equal to v. So this implies, I can say, in terms of y and x. So y is equal to uh, 80 minus 2x times 60 minus 2x times x. So let us expand this. So volume, which is in terms of y. So let us expand these two brackets. So I'll put x in front. So this is 80 times 60 is 4,000. 800 minus 80 times 2x is 160x minus 120x and plus 4x squared. Okay, therefore y, expanding this, uh, before expanding, let's simplify inside the bracket, is 4800 minus 280x plus 4x squared. Okay, so again expanding this, so it's y is equal to, this is expanding with x, which is 4,800x 4, minus 280x squared plus 4x cubed. And that's why I told you that this is a cubic equation. So now we can see maximum volume, when it's maximum volume, at maximum volume, your dy by dx, your gradient at that point has to be zero. Your gradient at maximum or minimum is always going to be zero. So let's differentiate. So dy by dx using the polynomial rule. 
So D, the derivative of 4800x will be 4800 minus, drop the power down, so 280 times 2 is 560, and then decrease the power by 1, which is x. Drop the power down, so 4 times 3 is 12, and decrease the power by 1, which is 2. So what we are saying is the maximum volume you get when dy by dx is equal to 0, so I'm going to set that equal to 0. So now you've got a quadratic quadratic equation, so it is x squared, 12x squared, minus 560x, plus 4800 is equal to 0. Now this you can't factorize uh, into neat numbers, so you have to use a quadratic formula. So I'm using my graphic calculator to find the values of x. So go to equation, go to polynomial and second degree. So your x is 12, your y is minus 560, and your y is 4800. I think I already had that. And then I go to solve f1. So the two values is 31.35 and 11.3. So 35.35, isn't it? 35.35 and 11 point and 11.31. So x is 30, 35.35. One value of x is 31.35 or x is 11.31. Both in 2dp. So this is also, this is in 2dp and this is in 2dp. So do you remember what I said, what x should be less than? x should be less than 30. So now you have to say, but x is, x should be less than 30. So this, so this implies x is only one value, which is 11.31 centimeters. So in other words, when x is 11.31 centimeters, you get the maximum volume. So the question is calculate the maximum volume of the box. So your volume would be, so let me use the calculator. So uh, at, this is what we did. We let us go to graph and do it graphically. So I have to scroll my key and uh, draw it and go GSOL maximum. So when X is 11.31, centimeters, your volume is 24,258 centimeter or 24,258.4 centimeter cube is, this is in 1 dp, the maximum volume that you can get from that box, okay. So let me confirm the answer, 24,258.4 centimeter cube.